Um, um, so at the beginning of the book, Margie Sherrod invited Michael Jackson. She wants to become a god every day and follow the various adults tell her to do. Yeah, we've seen this a lot because she talks about propaganda. Something I thought about is how she throughout the story. At the beginning, she was more American. Although Margie's standpoint regarding the veil was very graphic, she was forced to value a child and shows rather than Ukraine. <laughs> so, like, I would say, like, what do you guys think, like, this is, like, Margie realizing, like, all this war exposed and, like, things that someone should have to be exposed to? Uh, supposedly killed a million people, and she like that, and it just shows how bomb hits directly to her you get to choose what you want to do, do, and uh, you should let traditional or modern values stop you from pursuing what you love, <clears throat> such as <laughs> your own family members, uh, discourage her. I agree with you, Gabe. Life, this connects to the end of Margie. The chances are, if you grow up during childhood, you'll have more Gabe life. There's a war in her home, and her parents have to make a strong for her. It could happen to thousands of others. I think that her individual desire is to stay with her dark family and try to make Margie look very bewildered, literally drifting away from her. You're born during life and parents are trying to say that you'll be better, be far away, miserable. I really did struggle with attempting to do, do. Uh, she wanted to rebel against this protest because she wanted a dangerous woman, but they don't feel forced to have bigger consequences. Uh, our names are Jack. 102. Kids had to be blown up in the minefield. They're rushed to war. I ran in the minefield. Living there is going to be the same time they hit their house. Iranians had freedom, such as being imprisoned, tortured, or executed. I totally agree with that. that someone living in a big with heavy war would have freedom. An example of this is on page 80, 84 in panel 2. 80, when Margie and her family are listening to the P -P radio bombers attacked Baghdad, Margie and other Iranians were probably really happy, but I'm so happy. I kissed your cigarette. I have to smoke cigarettes. And I think um, the environment hurt them. Uh, with uh, what wild Margie thinks that her own are hurting her. I, I, I um, understand where you people that that's true and uh, I, I, they're trying to uh, and it shows that margie does not need to die as we just like the show uh, uh, why the revolution uh, in iran uh, just doesn't understand her come, come. on the topic of this being a comment i believe miller painted a picture of and her parents were also sending their child away Okay, so I wanted to start with the topic of loss of essential question. Um, as she struggles with her F 114s because she's consumed. Adding on to that, I think that her losing the world and like when she realized that her innocence was bad and how she realized the complexity of the American culture, she was so rash for appreciating the complexity. Take a one hundred and two. Then to read it. And then stops believing in her kids' revolution. Each person has their own At the end, she gets shipped off to school. This happens in the modern world. At a certain point, point in the story, Margie feels like as though, like I remember she says in the um, story, like even though like she knows like nothing and she's like so many different like the God and speaks out at school like against like teachers and like teachers and like around upon um, in that society. She had a lot of struggles with the child because we all know she like wanted to be able to go away. Because um, I didn't see violence going on like wrong.